I've been looking on Amazon's top 100 best-selling books and I'm so excited because I found a lot of children's picture books in the top 100 and that is great news for me and for other people who would like to publish children's books because that means that it's a good opportunity to create an income. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to create an income from self-publishing. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I create children's books and that I also have a course to teach people how to create children's books. And today I want to show you a few more of the books that my students have created because I think they're absolutely amazing. But I also want to show you the potential that children's books have on Amazon and how much of an income you could make with them. The reason I started all this was because when I started creating low content books, I then pivoted towards children's books because I've always loved reading to my children and uh, I thought maybe I can create a children's book. I had already uploaded some low content books. I was familiar with the upload process and I thought, well, let's give this a try. And I did. And of course, there's nothing more encouraging than starting to earn an income from that. So I wanted to teach other people how they could do it too, because I know there are a lot of mums out there and dads that would like to create an extra income and maybe even do this full time. So that's what I've been doing. And I want that opportunity for other people as well. So let's hop onto Amazon first and I'll show you on my screen what the potential is for children's books. So we're looking at Amazon's best sellers in books and this is the top 100. So I'm going to start scrolling down and I'll let you know as soon as I spot a children's book. I love looking through the top 100. It always shows me something that's interesting. And here at number 12 is How to Catch a Leprechaun. So that's a children's book by Adam Wallace. I just want to quickly show you how much that is making. And for that, we go on to the self-publishing titans, KDP, BSR sales calculator. And I've entered the BSR here and all the other details that I need to fill in to get the results. And this tells me that this book has sold 3,653 copies this month. And that translates as a royalty of 5,589 US dollars. So this book is making um, between five and six thousand dollars a month, which is amazing. Let's see if there are more children's books in the top 100. And here is another children's picture book. I love you to the moon and back. That is in the top 100 quite often. I always come across this book when I do my research. And this time it's at number 24. There is another one here at number 31, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. And of course, we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it's definitely a really popular children's book that has been going for many years. And that is at number 41. There is a box set of 10 children's books at number 44. Here is another children's book at number 46. The Wonderful Things You Will Be, and I often see that book as well. And we go on to the next page. There's another board book here, Chica Chica Boom Boom. And I know that we can't create board books, so we can't really compare ourselves to these type of books. But we can definitely take this into account when it comes to demand for children's books. So these are books that are all in demand. They sell a lot of copies. And that shows me that people are buying children's books very often. There's another one here, Goodnight Moon at number 55. Another one at number 57, It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. Another one in the Little Blue Truck series, Springtime. I see them quite often as well. That's at number 64. And of course, Dr. Seuss, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Dr. Seuss has a lot of children's books in the top 100 all the time, of course, because they're so very well known and uh, they've again been going for, for years and years. There's another one at number 71. So I do expect those type of books to be in the top 100. There's another one here at number 72. And then there's a Learn to Write workbook, which is not a children's book, but it is for children. So I'm kind of including that in my research. And 
At number 77, we have Where's Bluey? At number 81, we've got Love You Forever. How to Catch the Easter Bunny is at number 86. Another one at 96, Guess How Much I Love You. A number one at 98, Moo Ba La La La. And another one at number 100, I Love You Like No Otter. So <laughs> those are all children's books in the top 100. So I would say if we add them all up, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty books in the top 100 of Amazon, of the whole of Amazon. That is absolutely amazing. So this shows you that the children's book market itself is quite substantial. And according to various industry reports that I've found, the market has shown resilience and growth potential driven by factors like educational trends, parental spending on learning materials, and the timeless appeal of children's literature. Everybody likes to read to, to children, so children just love stories. The sales figures can vary depending on the stories and certain categories like educational books, picture books, or young adult fiction perform exceptionally well. So if you're considering going into the children's book market through Amazon KDP, it's a really good idea to do your market research, understand current trends, and consider the types of children's books that are seeing success. So it is a good idea to go through the top 100 books like I have done, but you can do further research using different tools or just by looking at the type of books that are selling well. So I hope that gave you an idea of what is possible and I want to show you some of the books that my students have created. They're absolutely amazing. And I want to start with this one, Love the Unbreakable Doll by Ava Rose. I hope you can see this. And I want to take you inside this book to show you how the illustrations are. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. It's really nice. It's a story of, of um, Luna discovering the magic of resilience and imagination. And I love it when books are not just a little story, but they're also teaching children something. And in this case, it's a lovely, lovely book. It's based on true events and it unveils the captivating journey of a mother and her daughter as they navigate the highs and lows of life with an enchanting porcelain doll. It's just a really lovely story and it's perfect for bedtime. And I think this is just wonderful how she's put the book together. And there's even an activity right at the end of it and a little maze. I think it's a wonderful book and I'm so proud of all of my students. They have created some amazing books. I will leave the details of all the books under this video. So if you would like to have a look. And the second book I want to show you is Lala Koala Explores the Continents by Jackie Winkleman. And it's another really sweet book. And uh, I really like this first page because Jackie has made it a dedication page for my grandsons, Wade and Tyler, with all my love. May you always see the possibilities. I think it's perfect to have a little dedication at the front. And as you can see, the images are really engaging. The story is lovely. And again, it's a story that teaches children something. So it combines storytelling with education. And uh, for me, that is always the best way of creating these type of books. Um, you can create these books by hiring an illustrator, which is always the best way of doing that, because then it's a really bespoke book. But of course, the cost for that can be prohibitive for, for most of us. And uh, there is another way of doing these type of books, and that is to use ready-made images from places like Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, or get an illustrator to just create the characters maybe and you just add the backgrounds. There are different ways of doing this. And uh, as you can see, my students have um, really followed my lessons in the course. 
and created some wonderful books using ready-made images. And I love what she's done with the last page where she has a map of all the places that the koala has visited and she says, can you name the seven continents Lala visited? Which is great because that really teaches chil small children something very valuable and uh, there's also another page here at the end. I just think this book is amazing, really well done and uh, also teaching children something. So that's always a good combination. And here is another lovely book, Mr. Pandemic by Sarah Gemma and uh, it's a really brave topic to choose because there's a lot of divided opinions shall I say on this topic but if you want to create a book like this by self-publishing it's possible and again dedicated to my granddaughter Olga Strain. That's so lovely. Um, I love having dedication pages in our books and uh, again she's made this using ready-made images and you can definitely create a book in this way and it's very simple as you can see and really a children's book for small children just needs to be very simple because their attention span is quite short and by using visuals and short sentences you can really um, convey your message and have a really entertaining book for children. So again, it teaches a few things and uh, I think it's a lovely book and I will leave, as I said, all the details for the books below this video so you can take a look at them. So another really lovely book and then there's this one, How to Stand Out. I wish I had read that when I was little. <laughs> you are unique, make a difference in the world and that is by Scott Jablonski and it's a beautiful book. It's really professionally made. Um, I love the cover. It's very simple, but it stands out. And uh, again, Scott has included a thank you page. And thank you very much, Scott, for mentioning me in this as well. That is so appreciated. You, you'll never know. And uh, very clever. Scott has included a QR code that people can scan and then it takes them to the music lyric video that he made to accompany the book and another dedication page which is lovely i love them and can you see how simple this book is and that's particularly what i love about this book the images are not very um, intricate watercolor illustrations they're basically stick figures and how effective is that i just think this is genius scott really well done i really think that you have hit it out the park here with your book and uh, it's just absolutely stunning. I think this is a really good example of a children's book and I have to say I really recommend this book for children because it's all about positive habits that can make a difference in the world and that is just what I love and uh, I think excellent, excellent job and I think all of them have done an excellent job and I'm so proud of you all. I can't even say how proud I am because I think they're fantastic. And if you are in my course and you would like me to showcase your book, drop me an email and uh, I will do that. I've still got some books outstanding that I need to to show on this channel and I can't wait to do that because again, they're fantastic books and uh, it's just a perfect opportunity for me to show you what my students have created in the course. And what I really like about these books is that there are so many personal stories in the books. So my students have used their personal experiences, their personal stories to pass on to other children. And I just think that is lovely. And if you have an idea that you would like to pass on to your to your children or to other children or to your grandchildren then creating a book like this is just it's just perfect and uh, there is a way to do it and like I said I do have a course the course is currently being updated and I'm adding a lot more classes to the course so it's going to be a lot more comprehensive and unfortunately because of that it will go up in price but anybody who has the course now is going to be included in that upgrade and they will all receive the new uh, newly updated course with all the extra lessons. So we'll leave the links to the course below the video and as it's my birthday coming up 
I will leave you with a 30% discount and it's valid until the 3rd of March. I will leave that below as well so you can get 30% off the normal price. I hope that you, you make use of that if you're interested in creating children's books. Is it difficult to create a children's book? It's not difficult, it's a very creative process, but there are certain things that you need to know. What kind of topics to pick to give your book the best chances of actually making sales. You need to know how best to structure your story so that it has the best impact. You need to know quite a few things about your cover creation. All of that will be covered in the in the course and I will be adding lessons on how to create an ebook version and how to publish on other sites that are not Amazon as well. So there will be a lot more added to the current course. So if you want to create lovely Lovely, beautiful children's books like the ones my students have created then I recommend that you give it a try and uh, it's a really good way of making an additional income and you may even be able to make a full-time income you do need to promote your books for that and you can do that by paying for ads but there are also lots of free ways you can promote them and I cover that in my course and I've also got YouTube videos about it so you can find out how to promote your books um, and there are plenty of free ways to do that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I didn't even drink my coffee. <laughs> it's gone cold. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.